Hey everybody, Joe Casabona here, and last week I made a video showing you my new camera setup, my A6400 uh, by Sony going into my computer so I can get a very crisp looking picture for when I record YouTube videos or videos for my courses. Uh, but I wanted to walk through the exact settings. I watched a few YouTube videos that showed me kind of the hardware I needed and some of the stuff I did, but it wasn't a step by step. Uh, and I think those videos assumed that whoever was setting the video up or setting the camera up already knew a few of these things. So I'm just going to walk you through exactly what you need to do in order to get a Sony A6400 working as a webcam streaming 4K video. So in the description down below, I will link to my YouTube recording kit, which is going to include all of the links to what I mention here. So first, on the Sony A6400, you're going to need to make sure that your camera is set to the movie mode. That was the first mistake that I made. I had it set to auto, and as a result, I couldn't use 4K video at all, either on the camera or on the uh, YouTube or on the computer. So make sure it is set to the movie mode. I'll have a picture of the dial here, probably like right here, and uh, make sure that's the setting. The second, and I'm not entirely sure if you actually need this or not, but it definitely helped me. And if you plan on using the camera for more than just YouTube videos, if you actually want to shoot 4K out in the wild, you will need a U3 memory card. Uh, so it's a U3 SD card. That is the type of card that can handle the data transfer needed to record and store 4K videos. So those two things are things right off the bat that will help you record 4K video either on your computer or out in the wild. The other thing that I didn't realize was that you need a micro HDMI to HDMI cable. I assumed I just already had the cable I needed, that it was HDMI to HDMI. That's going to be a big port on the camera. So you'll need a micro HDMI to HDMI cable. And the last thing that I recommend you get for your camera is a plug battery, a battery that plugs in so that you your battery doesn't die when you're recording so with all of those things how do you do the setup exactly well you turn the camera on make sure it's in movie mode you plug the micro hdmi side of your cable into the camera you take the hdmi side of that cable and you plug it into the elgato cam link 4k it needs to be the cam link 4k because that's the one that can push 4K video to your computer. And the other side of the Elgato 4K, CamLink 4K, is a USB, a standard USB port. So I would plug that directly into the computer if you can. I was using like an extension at first, but I want to make sure that I'm not losing any uh, information on data transfer or that I'm not using a cable that can't push that kind of data. So I'm just plugging that directly into the port on the back of my iMac. And that's it. So uh, make sure your camera's in movie mode, make sure it's plugged in, make sure you have a U3 SD card and that your HDMI cable is a micro HDMI to HDMI cable. To actually do the recordings, you can use QuickTime, which is what I'm using right now, or you can use something like OBS if you wanna stream. Uh, as far as getting this display, there is one more step that is not a hardware step. It's in software, and that's to get all of the tracking information off of the screen. So like you could do face tracking or their stats uh, up on the screen. You don't want that. You could see I'm getting a clean output. So here's exactly how to do that. Okay, so once you are in the settings for your camera, you're going to see some tabs across the top here. We're going to go over to the the last tab, the setup tab, and we're going to go to the fourth screen that is set up for. There is an area called HDMI settings. We're going to choose that. And then we're going to 
check the third option here that is HDMI info display. Now this is plugged into my computer so I can't modify this setting but you want to make sure it's turned off. This will remove all of the extra information, the face tracking function on the display. It won't send it to the camera so you'll have a fully functioning webcam without all of the webcam related options. Once you save that, you can back out into your camera. And that's it. You are now set to record your videos using a 4K camera. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more great content. Again, all the links are in the description below. And until next time, get out there and build something.